Having reached the concluding chapter of my life, it occurred to me that the trouble is that no autobiographer is fortuitous enough to record his true ending. Chris's whole life, um, he was very spiritual. You know, I mean, he just seemed to be so in touch with God on so many levels. Christopher's faith was a factor in everything he did. Christopher was dependent in many ways on other people. And as a result, he did have to have faith in others to a greater degree than most of us do. But you know what? I think it also took greater faith in himself. When Chris couldn't turn the page, he had to tell me, can you turn the page? Can you flip to page this? Every little thing had to be dictated to somebody else. So for him to have to maintain his focus and patience, I don't know how he did it, <laughs> to be honest with you. The very foundation of spirituality, at least from my perspective, is born of confidence in one's relationship with God. And the thing that sticks out in my mind most with him is when I discuss prayer. It was Chris who said to me, if you're gonna pray, be specific. Be specific. Be specific. I got it too too busy. busy. Too busy with other too things. Too busy to filter out what you're talking about. So go right to so it. So when you and be specific, pray, so. be specific. I have faith that my many blessings to which I've already alluded are attributable to a God more embracing and loving than most can possibly imagine. He had great faith that there was a master plan that was the inspiration that he lived his life by and that he supported others with. There's true meaning to everything we do in life and people were the most important thing to Chris and because of his faith I think was able to surmount a lot of the sadness and depression that goes on with debilitating disease. Now that's not to say that he wasn't sad or depressed sometime, but for the majority of his living moments those were not words in his vocabulary. I would hope that no one should mourn me for too long. Death is not something I have spent too much time fearing. He never talked about death or dying because he was always positive. But I think he believed he was going to land in a better place. He always talked about being able to run and he was excited to be able to stand and walk again and meet people that he never got to meet. He believed that once he got through this, there was unlimited opportunities up there for him. I wholeheartedly agree with Joseph Dunning in making the following assertion. For those who have faith, no explanation is necessary. For those who do not, none will suffice. I only pray that my loved ones find comfort in knowing that I am of the former category. <laughs>